up guys, Ars Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to unlock or block pop-ups from websites into Google Chrome into a simple, fast and effective method. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content for a friend of yours, I have no idea how much it helps us. After this, you have two ways to alloy or block pop-ups from websites into Google Chrome. First thing, we can do this into the site itself, so it's not a global setting, it's a site-specific setting. For example, if you go to openaisuite.com, it's a website that you like, for example, next to the website domain there is this little lines right here, okay? You're gonna click and go to site settings. Then we're gonna scroll it down just a little bit, and right here we're gonna be able to find pop-ups and redirects. We have block, alloy, or block. The default setting is block, but I can add some exception to the site and alloy pop-ups and redirects from this website only. Simple, easy, and very, very effective, okay? And the same thing you can change for every single setting only for the site. Alloying images, alloying photos, allowing JavaScript, allowing notifications, okay? Anything that you want. But how to do this globally? So the Google Chrome can do this for all of the websites. Go to the Chrome, review the upper right corner of your screen. Next to the X icon, there is three little dots next to your image. Click on it and move to the settings. Once on settings, review the left sidebar of menus. Scroll down just a little bit and review privacy and security. Once right here, scroll it down just a little bit once again and go to site settings. Once on site settings, scroll it down and you're gonna be able to find pop-ups and redirects. Sites might send pop-ups and show ads or use redirects to lead you to website you may not want to visit, okay? By default, Chrome is set to don't alloy sites, sites to set pop-ups and redirects. You can change this to alloy. This is gonna change all the global settings. Or, or for example, we can add a website to the alloyed list. For example, click on add. Then we're gonna copy the website URL and enter right here. Just like this, okay? Now we have the alloyed lists with these URLs and these URLs can send me pop-ups and use redirects. Simple and easy. Or for example, you can set all to alloyed and set some site right here to not alloyed list. So the exception list now, it's the not alloyed one, okay? Simple, easy and effective. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question and don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes and I see you tomorrow, all the best!